Glad to have you here. We're going to go ahead and get started. So um, no preface tonight. We're just going to go ahead and jump into our practice. So we give plenty of time to calm our nervous systems and maybe even get the, the heart race in a little bit in a good way, in a good way. So come to sit tall, whatever that looks like for you. I'm sitting cross-legged. You can extend one or both legs forward. You could even sit in a chair if you wanted to, but sit comfortably. We'll be here for just a couple minutes. And relax your shoulders down your back as you allow your eyes to close. And become aware of the points of contact your body makes with the ground. And allowing yourself to feel supported through these points, like the earth rising up like a pedestal to hold you here in this moment. And that's how much support you have beneath you. And then feel your spine growing out of that root, connecting at the pelvis, snaking its way up the body to the center of the brain. And on that structure of support, on that structure of the spine, you have the rib cage fanning out, the shoulders, kind of like wings hanging off of the spine, the arms hanging off of that. And of course, the skull sits and balances on top of the spine. All drawing your awareness to this innate support within us. The earth supporting the base of the body, the base of the body supporting the rest of the body, spine, shoulders, head. And so maybe you haven't felt supported lately, physically, emotionally, psychologically. So maybe you can tap into some of that inner resource, if not in this moment, at least through this practice. So let's spend just a few more moments really tuning in to that inner support system. Even your breath can be a part of that support constant, autonomic, supportive. Same with your heart beating. So many systems of our bodies running on their own without us having to cognitively encourage them. You are supported. And because our body supports us so effortlessly, at least from a psychological perspective, I'll let this practice tonight be in support of this body so that it can support us in return. So taking a deeper, fuller breath, please. Bring your palms to your heart. Just honor yourself as you are in this moment, this body, this breath energetic state, state of mind. And it's from this place within you that we will practice tonight. So go ahead and rub the palms together, creating some heat between them. And take the heated palms over your eyes, brushing back over the top of your head, down the neck, bringing yourself back to the space. Good. Welcome, everybody. And we're going to come on to hands and knees to start. So go ahead and shift there now. We may be on hands and knees for a little bit. So if you wanted to take a folded blanket and put it where your knees are, just a little bit of comfort. Never hurt once anyone. <laughs> Good. So have your hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips, or a little further back. And then inhale, roll the shoulders down the back, look forward, feel the tailbone lift behind you. Exhale, round the back, cat pose, tucking the chin and tail under. Then inhale, look forward, tailbone lifts, and exhale, round the back. Let's continue this movement. Inhale, looking forward, exhale, rounding. And just starting to warm up the spine. Again, the spine works so hard to support you, keeping yourself elevated. 
stable, steady. Maybe there's some tension in the spine, maybe some soreness in the muscles surrounding it. Just helping to loosen it up a little bit here. And then we'll make a movement a little bit more dynamic. So with your next exhalation, go all the way back to child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the floor, and then inhale, float back up, hands and knees. Exhale again, child's pose, going all the way back. Inhale, floating back up. Please continue moving between these two postures. And as we tune in to this idea of support, Support. Allow your breath to be a part of that support. Not just the fact that you know it's helping to convert oxygen into carbon dioxide, but also about how as you go into child's pose, the breath kind of helps you float back. And then the inhale, kind of like a balloon filling, lifts you back up. You can kind of take some of the muscular engagement out of the movement and really use the breath to help lift you and lower you back. Let's do a couple more times. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Good, inhale back up to hands and knees. All right, good job. So from here, go ahead and extend your left leg out behind you, toes pointing toward the floor, leg parallel to the floor, or ish. It can be a little bit higher, but we're not extending it way back just yet. Good, so look forward with the heart. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bend your left knee, draw it in toward your chest and tuck your chin. And then inhale, extend the leg back out, look forward. Exhale, bring the knee back into your chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Let's keep going. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Really feel the navel pull back toward the spine as you exhale. Helping to engage the core a little bit here. Very important for support. Going at your own steady pace. Moving with your breath, exhale, crunching the knee up and toward your chest, inhale, extending back out. Let's do about three more. And then bring the knee in, inhale, extend it back out and release the knee on down. Go ahead and sway from side to side in the hips. Being careful with the knees if they're feeling sensitive. It's okay to feel sensitive. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. Please extend your right leg out behind you, toes pointing toward the floor again. That back leg is about parallel to the floor. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee into your chest, round the back. Inhale, extend back out. Exhale, bring it back in. Let's continue. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest. You're tucking the chin under as well, feeling the navel pull back towards your spine with that exhalation. And again, you can contemplate how the breath can help you with this exercise. With that strong exhale, you can crunch a little bit deeper. And the inhale allows the heart and leg to lift. We're also warming up the lower back and a little bit of the glutes here as well. Let's do a few more. Last one. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest. Inhale, extend the leg out and then place the knee on down, sway in the hips if you'd like. Deep breaths. Let's go back to child's pose for a moment. 
seat to the heels, forehead toward the floor, and we'll come into what's called active child. So lift your palms, fingertips staying on the ground. So it's like you're clawing the floor. And then walk your fingertips forward an inch or so and sink your hips towards your heels. And you'll feel some nice extension in the arms, the shoulders, maybe even the sides of the body, maybe even down into the lower back. One more breath. And then plant the hands down. Inhale, float back up to hands and knees. And we'll do a little bit more work here on hands and knees. So go ahead and extend your left leg out behind you, just like before. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bend the left knee and take it out to the side. I call this the fire hydrant. <laughs> Inhale, extend the leg back out behind you. Exhale, bend the left knee and take it out to the side. And then inhale, extend back out. Let's do that a few more times. Exhale, bend the left knee and take it out to the side. Inhale, extend. Exhale out to the side. Inhale, extend. We're going to hold the pose this time. Go ahead and come on in. And breathe. Try to keep the heart lifting. Don't collapse in the chest. And try to keep the left knee lifting as well. Breathe. Good. Inhale, extend the leg out behind you. Exhale, place down, child's pose. Inhale, back up to hands and knees. And extend the right leg out behind you. We'll do the same exercise on this side. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the right knee. Take the leg out to the side, fire hydrant. Inhale, extend back out. Exhale, bend the right knee, take it out to the side. Inhale, extend, three more. Exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it in. Inhale, extend, last one, and yes, we're gonna hold. Go ahead and bend the right knee, take it out to the side. Keep the heart lifting, and keep that knee lifting as well. Deep breaths. Okay, if you're shaking a little bit. <laughs> Good, inhale, extend that leg out and place the knee on down. Again, child's pose. Staying for about two or three breaths. Good, so in child's pose, please take your arms down by your side, palms face up. I think many of you know this one, it's hero's pose. With your inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, lift up onto the knees and reach the arms overhead, hero's pose. Exhale, hinge at the hips, sweep the arms down, fold back into child's pose. Inhale, take the arms out to the side again, lifting up. And exhale, releasing on down. Again, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, releasing down. Keep going. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release back down. And move at the pace of your breath. Warming up the lower back a little bit more. And also starting to do a little bit more back bending with the upper back. So at the top of the inhale, really turn the heart toward the ceiling. And of course, there's some core engagement here as well as you control the rise and the release in and out of this posture. Let's do about two more. And then exhale, go ahead and fold back down into child's pose. Stay here, take an adjusting breath. And then extend your arms forward, hands on the floor. Inhale up to hands and knees, curl the toes under, downward facing dog, lift the hips into the air. Let's go ahead and walk the dog out a bit. Press the heels to the floor, bend the opposite knee. Feeling length in the legs. 
and also lengthen your spine. So feel the hip bones reaching toward the sky behind you. Deep breaths. I'm just warming up the legs. Let's do two more breaths here. And then inhale, float gently down onto hands and knees. And this time, bend your elbows and towards your waist. Go ahead and bring your heart down between the hands and release your hips back coming down onto your belly. And we'll do some fun stuff here, okay? So have your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows bent. With your next inhale, Go ahead and roll the shoulders down the back, lift your heart and head, gentle cobra. Exhale, release down. We're gonna add on to that. Feeling the hips ground into the floor, inhale, lift the head, chest, and the legs as well, coming into locust pose. Exhale, release down. Keep the legs on the ground. Let's come back into cobra, lift the head and chest, inhale. Legs stay down. Exhale, release. And then we'll add the legs this time for uh, locust pose. Head, chest, and legs, inhale. Exhale, release down. Just cobra, legs stay on the floor. Lift the head and chest, inhale. Exhale, release. Again, locust pose, head, chest, and legs. Exhale, float back down. Just the head and chest, cobra inhale. Exhale down with the legs. Inhale, locust pose. Exhale down. Let's go through one more for each posture. Cobra lift, head and chest. Exhale down, locust lift. And let's stay in locus this time. Feel the shoulders working down the back, inner thighs are lifting. Your heart is looking forward. And you're breathing. Nice strong back here. We squeeze up the legs behind you as much as you can. You can even think about squeezing the legs together as much as you can. Deep breath in. And exhale, carefully release on down. Take a breath. Good, go ahead and curl the toes under. Push up to hands and knees. And let's come back into downward facing dog. Feeling length in your spine once again, the hip bones are reaching toward the sky. Good, inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Release the feet, exhale, child's pose. So in child's pose, once again, we'll come into active child. So lift the palms, fingertips stay on the ground like you're clawing the floor. And then walk the fingertips forward an inch or two and sink your hips towards your heels. Again, feeling that big length in the spine. Also in the shoulders and arms and maybe even down into the lower back. And keep this length as much as you can. And go ahead and walk your hands off of the left side of your yoga mat. Really reaching through the right hand. And feel your right hip ground toward its heel. So you see, feel some big length along the right side of your body. Deep breaths. And then keeping this length again, go ahead and walk back through center. And let's walk the hands off the right side of your mat. Reaching through the left hand, left hip sinking toward its heel, big length along the left side, deep breaths again. That left hip grounding, it's like you're stretching in both directions through the hand and then the hip grounding down.
Good, one more breath. And then go ahead and inhale, walk the hands back through center. And then go ahead and come up to hands and knees, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll stay in down dog for this next exercise. So keep the entire body, except for your head, in downward dog. Inhale, look at the space between your thumbs. And exhale, tuck the chin and look toward your navel. Inhale, look between the thumbs. And exhale, look toward your navel. Just keep going. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, looking at the navel. This is helping to both stretch and strengthen the muscles around your neck. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, chin tucking. One more time. Good. And then go ahead and relax the neck and let's walk your hands back to meet your feet, coming into the standing forward fold. Press palms to shins, come halfway up here, extend the spine. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale again, press palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, folding down. One more time, just because I like threes. Inhale, coming halfway up, chest parallel to the floor, and exhale, fold on down. Now allow the knees to be just slightly bent here so that you're not locking the joint. Arms either uh, hanging toward the floor, maybe hands touching the floor, and relax the neck here. And you may even wanna give the head a shake no and a nod yes. Just helping to coax that tension out of the neck and shoulders and onto the floor. Breathe. And then to get a little bit more out of this pose, if your hands or fingertips don't touch the floor already, bend your knees until they do. Just keep bending them until the fingertips touch the floor. And then walk your hands all the way to the left side of your left foot. Release your head here. Let's take some deep breaths. Good, then go ahead and walk your hands back to center. And then just go ahead and keep going to the right, taking the hands to the right side of the right foot. Again, bend your knees so that can happen and release the head when you get there. One more breath. And then walk the hands back to center. Press palms to shins one more time. Exhale, fold down. Sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back. Come all the way up to standing. Inhale. And exhale, bring the palms together at the heart. Good. Feel sensation for a moment. Breath rate, heart rate. Anything else you might be sensing in your body? Good, all right. So we're gonna do some arm swings next. Many of you know this one. Feet stacking underneath the hips. And it's a three-part inhale through the nose, one powerful exhale out of your mouth with the movement. And the movement is, is, sorry, <laughs> getting you set up first. Feet stacking underneath the hips, nice stable base. The movement is inhale, arms up, inhale, arms back, inhale, arms up, and then exhale, jab the elbows back. Three-part inhale through the nose, one powerful exhale out of the mouth. And we're just gonna keep going for about two minutes. So it's inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> Powerful. 
powerful exhale out of your mouth. You want to feel the navel pull into the body and up, helping to clear your respiratory system. And then with that three-part inhale through the nose, feel the full rotation of your shoulders, up, back, up, and jab. Swing it out and go at a pace that you can maintain. Again, we're gonna go for a full two minutes tonight, which means you're about a quarter of the way there. And that can be slowly, that can be quickly. Just again, make sure that you can make it to the finish line as best you can. <sighs> Strong exhale. And you may get to a point with this exercise where you kind of just, you're just kind of in it for the ride. <laughs> you're not really efforting so much. You're just allowing the movement to happen. You become more of the observer of the experience um, than the doer of this experience. <laughs> And with this exercise, I do lean into that idea of the breath supporting us here. Because with the three-part inhale, it's like the breath is swinging the arms up, back, and up. And the exhale really provides that jab of the elbows back, really clearing out the lungs, getting rid of that stale, toxic air that can build up at the base portion. <sighs> Which if you're living in California right now, <laughs> which many of us are, and you have been breathing some of this toxic air that is out there because of the fires. This is a great exercise to do to help clear that out. So with that idea, we're about, I think about 20 seconds from being done. So make them count. <sighs> Three, two, and one. Relax the movement, relax the breath. Feel sensation, breath rate, heart rate, physical sensation. Now, if you're feeling a little out of breath, let's, let's work with that, okay? Let's take a deep breath in and a deep breath out together. Again, deep breath in and out. A few more times, deep breath in. Once more, deep breath and out and relax. Good. So another thing about that exercise that it actually helps to energize our system, it helps to wake us up a little bit. So add that to your repertoire if you need it. Um, again, if you're living in the areas with the bad air, you might want to add that to your repertoire at least until it's over. Don't forget to hydrate. So for this next exercise, I'm going to give you two options and the difference really depends on how much space you have around you. Again, some of you know this one. For both, you'll have your feet just a little bit wider than your shoulders. Or if you're standing forward on your mat, your feet would be about mat width apart. And if you have the space, you're gonna twist from side to side, swinging the arms around. If you don't have the space, what you'll do instead is take your hands on top of your shoulders, four fingers in front, thumbs behind, and still do the swinging, but you're gonna kind of keep yourself a little more contained from side to side. So pick which one you can do. 
and go for it. Good reminder for both exercises, the back heel is cheating up so that the hips can rotate more. And you're looking behind you. Good, from side to side, unwinding tension in the spine and be aware of your breath here. Often it wants to become shallow because we're constantly twisting, you can't blame it. <laughs> but when we notice it becoming shallow, just go ahead and deepen, okay? Take a deeper, fuller breath. Unwinding tension in the spine. Where in the spine do you feel tension? Just imagine this is helping to break up some of that. Maybe it falls off the body and onto the floor. Maybe it melts away. Maybe it dissolves. Or maybe this is kind of massaged away. However best you can attach to that idea of tension in the spine kind of going away. <laughs> bringing yourself this relief. Take a deeper breath if you haven't done so in a bit. From side to side to side to side. Deep breath. About 15 more seconds. Deep breath in and out. And unwind to center. Feel sensation again as that movement settles. And you might feel a sense of inner stability or stillness, steadiness. Be aware of your breath rate, your heart rate, anything else that might be going on right now. Deep breath in and out. Good. And bringing yourself on back. We're going to move into our sun salutation next, and we're going to work with some lunges tonight. We haven't really warmed up the legs with lunges yet. <laughs> We've done a little bit of work for them, but not much yet. So we'll start off slow, and we'll pick up the pace as we go along, OK? So go ahead and step to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Have your feet stuck underneath your hips. Bring your palms to your heart and just take a couple of deep breaths here, standing tall, just kind of feeling that support of the earth beneath you, rising up through the feet, through the legs, the spine attaching at the pelvis, spine rising out of the pelvis, up to the center of your brain, your head resting on top of the spine your rib cage fanning out from the mid back all the way around to the sternum, your shoulders like wings hanging off of the spine, your arms hanging from those as well, rising up from the earth. And we'll move with that sense of support. So with your next inhale, please sweep your arms down, back and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Press palms to shins, come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, release down and step your right foot way back. Take the right knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up into your crescent lunge, heart turning toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your hands down. We're gonna switch things up to what you're normally used to. Step the right foot forward, coming back into the forward fold. Interlace your fingers at your lower back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the arms off the back and overhead as much as you can. But stay for a breath or two. Good, now from here, bend your knees deeply. Release the arms and sweep them forward and up, coming into chair pose. Keep the knees bent, stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs, coming up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward again. Palms to shins, halfway up. 
And exhale, fold. This time, step your left foot way back. Take the back knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge. Lift the arms up. And exhale, bring the hands down again. Step forward, standing forward, fold. Palms to shins, extend the spine forward. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with the flat back, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, palms to the heart. That'll be our flow for tonight. Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, halfway rise. And exhale, release, step the right foot back, knee to the ground, crescent, crescent, <laughs> crescent lunge. Tripping over my words tonight. Bring the hands down, step the right foot forward, interlace the fingers at the lower back, and just lift the arms off the back as much as you can here. Working the shoulder blades together, stay for a breath. And then bend the knees deeply, release the arms, sweep them forward, inhale into chair pose. Exhale, stay in chair pose. Inhale, straighten the legs, and swan dive, fold forward again. Palms to shins. Exhale, release, and step the left foot back. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, hands down, step forward again. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up and palms to the heart. We're gonna keep this energy moving. Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Palms to shins. And release, right foot stepping back, knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Good, interlace the fingers of the lower back, lift the arms off the back and overhead. Stay for a breath. Then bend the knees deeply, release the hands, inhale, coming into chair pose, exhale, stay in chair, inhale, lift up, and exhale, swan dive, fold forward, palms to shins again, exhale, fold down, step the left foot back, knee to the floor, crescent lunge, exhale, hands to the ground, step forward, halfway up. Exhale, fold, arms out to the side, coming all the way up. And let's just fold forward again. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come back down, halfway up. And exhale, fold, step the right foot back, knee to the floor, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Interlace at the lower back, lift the arms off the back and fold. Bend the knees deeply. Inhale, sweep the arms forward into chair pose. Exhale, stay in chair. Straighten the legs and fold forward. Palms to shins. Left leg steps back. Knee to the ground, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward again. Palms to shins. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms out to the side, come all the way up. And again, fold all the way down. Halfway up. Right leg stepping back, exhale. Knee to the ground. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Interlace at the lower back. Lift the arms off the back and fold. Good, bend the knees deeply, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stay in chair. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold down. Palms to shins. And step the left foot back this time, knee to the ground, inhale, come on up, crescent lunge. You're doing great, exhale, fold forward, step forward, halfway up, exhale, fold and come all the way up, inhale. This time, palms to the heart. Take an adjusting breath. Good, continuing, adding a couple of tweaks to what we're doing. 
Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, swan dive, folding down, palms to shins. Exhale, release, step the right foot back, bring the right knee to the floor, and inhale, crescent lunge. With your exhale, interlace your fingers and place them on top of your left thigh. Good, feel the hips sink down and forward. And then curl your right toes under your back foot. And with your inhale, carefully lift the right knee off the ground. That was the easy part. Exhale, carefully put it back down. Now, if you need to, you can have your fingertips on the ground here and you can do the exercise here. So if you need to, you can shift. Inhale, lift the knee. And exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more times, inhale, exhale. And this time lift the knee and we're gonna stay. Keep the hips sinking down and forward. Keep the heart lifting, soften your jaw. Breathe. One more breath. And then carefully release the knee down. Bring your palms to the floor if they're not there already and go ahead and step forward, standing forward fold. Maybe feeling a little bit different this time. Interlace your fingers at the lower back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the arms off the back as much as you can. Relax the neck here. We're gonna stay for a few breaths. And feel your shoulder blades kind of working toward one another and then slipping up toward your neck. Good, all right, we're gonna transition into chair pose. Release the arms, bend the knees deeply, sweep the arms up and chair pose. Here we are, let's stay for three breaths. This is where you realize I breathe slower than you do. <laughs> With your inhale, straighten the legs, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, folding forward. Good job. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Step the left foot back this time. Knee to the ground. Inhale, crescent lunge. And again, interlace the fingers and bring the hands on top of the right thigh. Now again, for this one, you can have your fingertips on the ground for support if you need to. Pick your practice. Feel the hips sink down and forward. Curl the left toes under, and you know this next part. Inhale, lift the back knee. Exhale, put it down. Inhale, lift the back knee. And exhale, put it down. Three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, and exhale. We're gonna hold the pose this time. Inhale, come on up. Straightening that left leg behind you. Keep the hips sinking down and forward in front of you. Relax your jaw, and please breathe. Almost there. Deep breath in and exhale, place the knee down, hands to the floor, and let's step the left foot forward. Good, palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the side of the flat back, coming all the way up, reach. And exhale, palms to the heart. Take a moment and just feel again, breath rate, heart rate, sensation in your body. Maybe new sensation in your body that wasn't there a few minutes ago. <laughs>
A deep breath in and out. All right. So I would like to do some work for the neck because we've been doing a little bit for the neck tonight, like we did in Down Dog earlier. And I feel like I want to expand on that just a hair, just a little bit. So what I'll have you do, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do here. There's so many neck exercises. <laughs> How about you relax your right arm down next to you and your left hand reaches behind your back and either grab below the elbow or above the elbow. Just don't grab the elbow itself, okay? Just pick one. And then traction the right shoulder down away from the, the right ear. I'll turn back to face you. And then drop your left ear toward its shoulder. Now, once you've dropped the left ear toward the left shoulder, you can turn the chin around a bit. And maybe you'll find a deeper stretch here in the neck. There may be more than one, just pick one. And then go ahead and drop the chin toward the sternum, release the arm and pick up the head. <sighs> All right, let's see what that feels like on the other side. So allow your left arm to hang down. Your right hand reaches behind you and again, grab above or below the elbow joint and then traction that shoulder downward. And this time it's right ear to right shoulder. And let's turn the chin around a bit, see if there's a more important stretch, <laughs> however you wanna qualify that. Hmm. And once you found it, stay with that stretch. And take deep breaths with that stretch. And just another breath or two. Good, all right. Go ahead and roll the chin to sternum, release the arm, and lift the head. And just notice that what, feel, what that feels like to have spent, you know, probably like five to seven breaths on each side, stretching out what needs to be stretched. You can do that anytime, literally anytime. <laughs> So we're going to move our awareness, or our awareness too, but our bodies, I should say, back down onto the mat to finish up with a few more postures before we close up for the night. So go ahead and from the top of your mat, just fold forward into the standing forward fold. And then go ahead and gently step backwards into downward facing dog. Good, inhale, float down onto hands and knees. And then go ahead and release the chest between the thumbs. Take the hips back, coming down onto your belly, hands underneath your shoulders. Good. Now feel the pelvis grounding into the floor. So take an exhale and press it down. And then with your inhale, lift the heart, lift the legs, lift the head, coming back into locust pose. We'll stay for five breaths. Shoulders are working down the back. The inner thighs are lifting and since we're staying for five breaths, you have to breathe <laughs> to count them. You hold your breath. It's going to be a long hold. <laughs> Keep squeezing up. And then inhale to your highest point. And exhale carefully, release on down. Take a breath. And then go ahead and curl the toes under again. Inhale, push up to hands and knees. Back to downward facing dog again. Feel length in the spine so you can bend the knees more than you normally do and shoot the hips powerfully toward the sky behind you. Good. 
And then inhale, float down onto hands and knees. And then go ahead and sit back and bring your legs out in front of you. Good, legs out in front of you. Now, if you wanna sit on a folded blanket here to give yourself some support underneath your seat to go ahead and do so, I recommend it, especially if the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, or your lower back are just habitually tight. This can help make that pose for you. It's also a cushion, so it's comfortable. <laughs> All right, so sitting tall, legs extended forward to start. I'm gonna have you bring your right foot in toward your body and then take the right foot across the left leg. Now, if you take it across and it doesn't wanna stay there, it's just kind of not grounding, just bring it back to the inside, okay? But if you can, take it across and flatten the foot to the floor. Now, if it's your right knee on top, it's your right hand that goes right behind you, right next to the spine. So not way out here, not copping a lean. You want it right behind your back. So when you press into the hand, you have no choice but to sit up taller. See how that works? And then inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, take the left arm across the body, hook the knee and twist, looking over your right shoulder. Now staying in the pose, sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Stay in the posture, breathe, deepening with every exhale. All right, with your next inhale, carefully unwind back to center and uncross and extend your right leg down. And we'll do the other side. So go ahead and bring your left foot in, left knee in towards your chest, and take the left foot across the right leg. Again, if it doesn't ground on that side, just bring it back to the inside. Good. Left knee is on top, left hand goes behind your back right next to the spine. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, bring the arm around, hook the knee and twist, looking over the left shoulder. Now staying in the pose, sit up taller as you inhale and twist a little bit deeper as you exhale. Staying in the pose, breathing in the pose. All right, with your inhale, carefully unwind from there, uncross the leg and extend it down to the floor. Okay, so still sitting tall, have the heels about maybe a little bit wider than your hips, so somewhere between the, the width of your shoulders and the width of your hips, okay? And flex the feet. Now sit up tall, inhale, lift the arms toward the ceiling. Now think about hinging from your hips here. This is not a nose dive, we're not doing one of these but instead the heart stays forward, hinge at the hips, come about halfway forward. Then inhale, come back up and exhale again, coming forward. Keep the arms up by the ears the entire time. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Twice more. And then with your next exhale, go to your furthest point without collapsing in the upper back, and then just release the hands down onto the legs or next to the legs. Don't worry about the feet. You don't need to reach for those. And feel your chin tuck towards your throat, the back of the neck lengthening. And let's breathe here in this forward fold. And since we're compressing the front body, as you take these deep breaths here, you'll notice movement in your back body. Just attune to that. The back ribs, maybe even the lower back expanding as you inhale. 
all of that relaxing as you exhale. One more breath. And then inhale, go ahead and extend the arms forward, arms by the ears, and then with a strong back, lift yourself back up to a tall spine. And then exhale, release the arms on down. Good. All right, so now it's time for our final resting posture. So go ahead and come to lay down on your back in a way that you will feel supported and that you can rest for a few minutes, okay? It's so coming to lie down. If you have that folded blanket, that would make a nice pillow for you. It'd probably make a nice blanket for you too, because it's a blanket. <laughs> Take your time getting there. And once you've arrived on your back, just take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And earlier we talked about really how the skeletal structure of the body supports everything else and the earth is supporting that. Now, as we lay down here, even the skeleton of our bodies doesn't have to support anything, not really. It's just the earth supporting you completely. Rising up from the core of the planet, holding you up like, a, like you're on a pedestal how supported you are in this moment. And knowing you are so supported, release, relax, all effort. Softening into the ground. Peace, peace, peace. Take a deeper supportive breath, nourishing. Make some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs.
And when you're ready, roll gently to your right side. And then come up onto a seat, nice comfortable seat when you feel complete here. If you're still moving your way to a seat, continue to go at your own pace. Once you're here, bring your palms to your heart and lower your chin. And just honor yourself for the work you have done here in this practice tonight, drawing upon inner support. And may all of that effort, intention, and this practice continue to serve you. So until we meet again, namaste.